Hey mates, in the last video I only told you how you can improve the cooling power of your PlayStation. But before we search for a cooling solution that improves the cooling power, we should know why our PlayStation is getting so hot that we need to improve the normal cooling. It's very easy. Your PlayStation does processing. It's processing the next move, the next frame, the next world, holding the Bluetooth connection with your controller and your headset. And it uses electricity to do this processing. And during this process, the electricity is converted into heat, which needs to be extracted. That means more processing means more electricity and more heat. So you can say when you're playing a graphic intense game, your PlayStation needs to process more than showing a YouTube video. But you can't see the heat from the outside of the console. So here you can see a thermal picture of my PlayStation. As you can see, it's not that warm. It's around 90 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature. But after playing a while, my PlayStation becomes warm, which you can see in this picture. The warmest places are around 46 degrees, which isn't high, but causes a noticeable sound increase by the fans. But these temperatures are only the beginning. When you're playing a game which needs very high processing power, the temperature rises above 60 degrees Celsius. The heat comes from the middle back of the console where the processor of your console is located. But why is heat a problem for a processor? It is as easy as the first question. When a processor becomes too warm and it destroys itself, your console is useless. A processor without a cooler tries to cool down by reducing its speed so you lose performance. With a cooler, you can push this point of losing power away from far behind, but your cooler becomes warmer too, as you can see on your PlayStation. The losing power temperature of your processor is around 80 degrees Celsius. This temperature is reached when your cooler becomes hotter than 65 degrees, in my case. That means your console is losing power by shell temperatures of 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. All the warm air is pushed away from it and to the back of the console and against the closet. In my case, this is the reason for the high temperatures at these points. To solve this heating problem, but still playing high quality games, your PlayStation needs some fresh air to cool down these hot places. To achieve a much cooler PlayStation, you should make room all around your console by removing cables, other consoles or anything like that. And use some risers to give the air the chance to reach the underside of the console or turn your PlayStation by 90 degrees. In this connection, a vertical stand helps to secure the PlayStation safely and allow the intake fans to suck in air. You can find a really good stand for your PlayStation in the video description below. Indeed, there are more useful ways to improve the cooling solution of your PlayStation, but I made a separate video for this which you can find in a video description too. I hope that I could help you to run your PlayStation cooler and use it as a console, not as a heater. So thanks for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. See you next time!